mum. He's a bit of a mummy's boy, and rightly so at this stage. Just getting a bit rough with him. He's like, no, that's a bit. <laughs> She's, no, you need to come and get your bath. Put her head down on his head. <laughs> enjoyment out of it is what Tinduna is and here comes Mishu on the left there we go all three it's gonna take a few pictures folks Yeah, there's still lullapines on and Jela, you'll get my visual and you can pull it next to me. So is there any, is there any, what's it, is there any major... Um, I'm just going to pull up from the side here quickly. Um, Alright, Jack's asked, is there any instinct that stops the two boys from mating with the... Uh, the girls from Karula's purse litter and quite often Jack uh, this this does happen mating does occur within families um, so yeah it does happen um, it's we just hope that the territories that they occupy um, that they're away from, uh, I don't know where the territories of the two, the two girls are um, or the other females are, so it should happen that the, the two boys territories that they take over um, possibly won't have the two females in, but uh, it definitely does happen and uh, hence why if you look at your, your populations, um, if you don't get new genes coming in the, the gene pool becomes stagnant and uh, after quite a, a lengthy period of time all that incest now starts becoming quite uh, active and um, you know that gene pool causes uh, the animals to start becoming diseased or sickly or uh, you know, the, it's not a very healthy gene pool at all and uh, there's no such problem although there is incest amongst these animals um, there's enough genes being introduced from the greater population in Kruger coming in and out that uh, there's no there's no chance of the, the gene pool here becoming too stagnant so with all the leopard movement and coming in and out it's uh, it is possible that incest does happen but um, sort of down the line it's, it, it sort of doesn't really affect the greater effect and gene pool of this particular leopard population Well, if you've just joined us, folks, you've got Karula and the two boys, Mishun and Duna. At the moment, and Duna is getting a bit of a, a clip bath from uh, Karula, the mom. We have a leap of leopard at the moment. And all this cleaning, as I said, performs two roles in the 
The first role of course is the cleaning and the second is the reaffirming of the bond between between the leopards and the fact that mother is still their mother and has her, has her duty while they're still around to perform. Now she's on Mishu. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Adam's uh, sent a question asking, just confirm Caroline, is it uh, friendly with each other or friendly with Karula? Okay. Um, Adams asked, will Mishu and Induna, when they become territorial males, will they still remain friendly? And uh, it's, it's hap Adam, it's happened that, especially when territories are at stake, that that brother, sort of brotherhood, is uh, sort of slightly severed. And um, remember that territories are all about resources and maintaining resources. If they've got uh, cubs of their own, um, they want to be protecting that gene pool. So, uh, absolutely, when uh, when these boys leave and start their territory, they'll certainly become a little bit more aggressive and want to protect from each other. So, uh, it may happen just in those early stages that uh, the boys will um, initially be quite content. But as I said, once the territories are, are set, then, uh, <laughs> then things change. 